Hello and welcome back to Cup of Culture. My name is Serena and this is the second episode of Tea Around the World, a series where we talk about the traditions and history of tea rituals from around the world to get cultures together over a cup of tea. And today we're going to travel to South Africa. And why? Because it's Lekka. Rooibos tea, pronounced rooibos, or also known as African bush tea, is actually not a tea, but a bush which is grown in South Africa. Rooibos is a native to the Sedebeck Mountains of South Africa, about three hours north of Cape Town. The tea is created in harmony with the ancient landscape of this mountain region. And despite the efforts of trying to cultivate the rooibos plant somewhere else, it still only grows in its homeland, South Africa. This localization makes it highly unique. Rooibos tea is very special and it includes several health benefits as it is naturally free from caffeine, it is low in tannins, rich in antioxidants, it may reduce your cancer risk and it may boost your heart health. The origins of rooibos tea go back thousands of years as indigenous bushmen use it as a medicinal herb. And the modern use of rooibos tea is actually linked to the Chinese tea trade as European traders who settled in South Africa tried to incorporate the tea drinking culture and adopted the local brew. When tea import from Asian countries was almost impossible during the Second World War, rooibos tea grew in popularity and also became a staple in all kitchens across the diverse cultures of South Africa. Rooibos tea is prepared in the same manner as black tea and you can add sugar and milk according to your taste and even a slice of lemon or orange or some honey if you like to but you should always use freshly boiled water and the perfect amount of tea leaves is one teaspoon per 200 milliliters of freshly boiled water and I'll be making 800 milliliters so I'll use four teaspoons. minutes as it has a longer brewing process than black tea as it doesn't contain any caffeine. So my favourite part about this tea is actually the colour. This It is kind of reddish and brown at the same time and you can actually Feel like you're in South Africa, you feel like you're walking through the Sedebeck Mountains and see this wonderful landscape. And this drink brings back so many good memories. So let's give it a try. Mm. So you definitely feel that there is an earthy flavour to it, and it's also sweet, but also delicate and I could even say that it kind of tastes malty. So yeah, it's it's really a beautiful blend. I love it and just the color of it, it's amazing. So I hope you will give it a try one day. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to South Africa today and let me know what you think about rooibos tea and which tea I should cover in my next video in the series Tea Around the World so we can bring cultures around the world together over a cup of tea. So until next time, bye!